Moscow today. Authorities are baffled by the aftermath of a shootout at the Leningradsky train yard, which left several dead and an estimated $500,000 in property damage. source within the investigation. Several of the deceased were armed with military-grade weaponry and body armor. No word yet as to whether these men were associated with any foreign government or were acting... Turn up anything, Mina? The name Grigori provided. Sergei Surkov. He's well-connected in Moscow, and he may know what Halbeck's plans are. Any idea where I can find him? I've confirmed he's at the American Embassy now. He should be there for the next few hours, if his schedule holds. Good to hear. Is something wrong? Something's interfering with the signal. I'm going to switch to another frequency. What the hell? Albatross, I'm surprised to hear from you after what happened with your bodyguard. That's the reason I'm calling now. I don't have anyone else to send. Unfortunate, but you're all I've got now that Sis is dead. She was in the way, Albatross, and... I'm not here to discuss what happened with Sis. I'm here about Surkov. We don't have a lot of time. I know about your mission, and I can assist you in getting to Surkov. When you arrive at the Embassy, I can patch into your frequency and provide support, as your handler. I think you'll find G-22's resources are... considerable. I've already got the help I need, Albatross, thanks. Mike. G-22's the only one you can count on in Moscow. Not exactly. I know someone who'll be happy to help. Who are you? What happened? I got cut off. I mean, I think Z's gonna be joining us at the embassy. What? No time to explain. But I think we need to reach Surkov now. So this is the embassy, huh? Well, I was hoping for something a little cheerier. Mike, I'm receiving the link request from VCI. Are you sure you want- Shh, little girl. Time for the big boys to play now, yeah? Z, well that explains the overabundance of testosterone on the line. Michael needs someone who can help him, little girl. You, not so much. Michael, darling, can you hear me? Enough with the darling and give me a sit rep, Z. Thank you. Michael, so commanding. You'll give me no choice but to follow your orders to the letter. All right, let's see what we got at the front door. Wait a minute. What is it? The guards, the marines, they are all well armed and alert. Michael, darling, did you speak to Grigori? Does it matter now? We've got a problem. Yes, but it is your problem first, I think. Talking to them will not be easy. Might be best to shoot them now, or look for another way around. I would have thought he would have been too scared to talk to anyone. Except maybe someone who can help him. Maybe Sirkov? Next step is yours, Michael. I cannot help you with the guards. Do not get killed or let Sirkov die. It would be... inconvenient. Don't worry about me. This place won't know what hit it. Darling, when you talk like that, I get shivers. That's not how I'd describe it. Signing off. Good luck, Mike. Keep my distance from the guards, Michael, unless you feel you can talk your way through the front gate. Stop right there. Identification. Marines, huh? You guys look like you're expecting trouble. Anything a fellow American should know? We've received word of a potential threat to the embassy. Now, identify yourself. 
That's what I'm here about. I need to speak to your commanding officer. Now. I'll call in and check. Take a look at this. I'll need your name, sir. My name's not on the list. I'm here concerning a recent financial investigation into Halbeck, and I think Mr. Surkov can assist me with my questions. All right, then. I'll relay that. Hold on. Whatever. Just hurry this up. Yes. Huh. Yes. American. Yes. Of course, sir. Lost. Did you hear something? I
Thornton. You'll cooperate, Serkov, if you like it. What's the point if you'll just kill me after? Do not make me for a fool, Agent Thornton. Trust me, killing you is a waste of my time. Anyone get out of here? Getting out of here safely will be well, yes. I'm willing to trust you that far. The embassy security system is a problem. The explosion has triggered the automatic security gates. They must be disabled if we want to escape the building. On the security terminal and the code. Yes, the terminal is upstairs. But the monitoring room next to us, there is an entrance lab. Take the ladder to the main security room upstairs. Unlock the gates. Then I can meet up with you at the port now. We don't have much time. gates unlocked. Now all I have to do is get out of here. Very good, Michael. Now head to the courtyard and meet up with Zarkov. We do not want him getting too far ahead of us before we chat with him. Flushing. 
long. Check it things out. What was that? Sirkov's at the front door, and judging by the incoming soldiers, he will not be moving unless you help him. Tanker bogey now. Initiating signal.
Step away from me, Mr. Thor. Keep your hands where I can see them. I saved your life, now you're gonna shoot me? How's that for gratitude? To be pulled from a shark tank and thrown into another isn't saving someone's life, Mr. Thor. After you have what you need, you will kill me. <laughs> Tell me who Halbeck's contact here is, while you still have one knee left. It... It... Halbeck is dealing with... Black Market in Moscow. They... I know that already. A name. Now. Konstantin... Konstantin Breko. He... He is handling the weapons for Halbeck. I... I told him not to. Where can I find him? I... I can send you the information, but I do not have it. Breko... moves around. But I can find him. I can get you the information. Fine. I expect a call soon. Not that you'll be able to get far on that leg of yours. Better be in touch, Surkov, or we'll see each other sooner than you'd like. Very good, my good darling. So that's why Surkov was walking with a limp. He's lucky I didn't shoot him in the head. Yes, fortunate. Guests late nights at the embassy have their drawbacks. Aside from terrorist attacks and rogue American agents. I could have timed it better had I known the embassy was about to be attacked. Yes, that's the odd part about the affair. Almost none of the cameras were able to catch sight of the attackers. And few eyewitness accounts as well. Something about armored soldiers with blue night vision lenses? Curious. Yeah, they're like ghosts. Not to the Marines. The bullets these ghosts fired were very real. I saw the casualty reports. The Marines were doing their job. They knew the risks. They gave as good as they got. You're surprisingly laissez-faire about the business. No skin off my back if the Marines and terrorists kill each other. I was there for Surkov. You're quite the realist. I would have expected more patriotic rage. But you, you handled yourself exceptionally well. You must have had help. 
You're truly a skilled agent, Mr. Thornton, but one man against several highly trained squads? No, the odds aren't that good. Is that your way of asking if I had allies? Fuck off, Leyland. Next time wear a billboard with your motivation on it, it'd be more subtle. You're testing my limits, Thornton. Good, you overconfident prick. You've already stepped on my last nerve. Don't expect any manners out of me. Well, with the attack on the embassy and everything to follow, you certainly got the most out of your first few days in Moscow. One would almost think therapy would be in order. I have some doctors I could recommend for you. The first step is admitting you have a problem, Leyland. But back to the reason you were at the embassy. Surkov. Still, you and Surkov didn't have much of a conversation when you finally got him out of the embassy. Yeah, the dumbass pulled a gun on me, so I had to take it away and shoot him with it. Embarrassing, really, but what are you gonna do? But he did tell you who had the Helbeck missiles. And he gave you a name. Yes. Constantine Braco. Ah, Braco. What is it about the younger generation? At least Surkov was a businessman. They pretend to obey the law. But Constantine, now there's a story I'd like to hear. Up-and-coming Russian mobster meets rogue American agent. What could the two of you possibly talk about? How video killed the radio star. this morning. Last night, the United States Embassy was the victim of a terrorist attack. According to eyewitnesses speaking exclusively to INN, the attackers were well-armed and struck with military precision. Thus far, no one has been forward to take credit for the attack.
have recently struck the U.S. In fashion news, designer Robin Goulet's latest show in New York was greeted with surprisingly mixed reviews. The book 